Hey everyone, this is Mike. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great today. And in today's video, we'll take a look at the DJI Mavic 3e and apply this drone in a real life scenario where you can really see the full potential of this drone. I'm really excited for this one, so let's get started. So I recently posted a video on the Mavic 3e on my channel. You can go ahead and watch that after you're done with this one. But basically in the video itself, I showcased everything that I have learned about this drone because it was my first ever enterprise drone. It was very, very interesting area for me to explore and learn more about. And when you start digging into these things, you learn that there are so many possibilities, so many cool things that you can do with these drones. So I was excited to learn more and apply that knowledge into a real world scenario. So this is why today's video is happening. I wanted to gather all my knowledge and just channel it into a real world problem that needs a solution. So it can actually be something useful that will make a difference for someone. And the scenario is actually really, really cool. And that's something that I'm very passionate about. It's about racing and a potential racetrack that can be built just outside of the city. It has a lot of potential and it's still in a very, very early stage. So uh, one of the first things that needs to be done for the potential construction of this racetrack is to gather as much information as possible. And one of that uh, pieces of information is of course building a 3D model, very detailed 3D model of the area. So we can send that to the engineers so they can have all the information necessary so they can do their job and build a proper racetrack. When it comes to 3D modeling, the key word is precision because you want to have as much information as possible so you can later end up with the most precise 3D model as possible so you can do your job properly and end up with good results. So for that, the Mavic 3e is perfect as it has the RTK module on it, which offers the centimeter level accuracy when working with mapping and 3D modeling. So for that, this drone is actually going to work really, really well. And because the Mavic 3e has a mechanical shutter, it also means that it doesn't have to stop for photos. It can pretty much go at full speed while snapping photos every second or so. Uh, and you still end up with great looking shots that doesn't have any rolling shutter effect on them or any blurriness. They are super sharp. So for that, you're really saving a lot of time because the drone is just very, very, very quick and it's pushing through those missions that you create uh, and it's just snapping photos uh, constantly. Hi, my name is Theo Teodosiev. I'm the CEO of Kinetic Automotive. Today we are at a very interesting place at the bottom of an old quarry uh, near Varna, Bulgaria. And uh, we're making a feasibility study for potential racetrack. This might be the, actually the world's first racetrack which is at the bottom of a quarry. For the survey purposes uh, we uh, need a very detailed and precise uh, 3D model of uh, this whole uh, area. Luckily the new DJI Mavic 3e was just uh, released so today we are uh, shooting the area with uh, this amazing uh, drone. The interesting thing is that uh, several months ago we actually tried to do a 3D uh, model of the place uh, with a DJI FPV drone. Uh, we got some result, but we are now at this phase of the project where the engineers uh, should do the precise calculations and precision is really uh, a key here. For this survey, we created a mission and the software automatically created uh, the, the flight plan. So we are shooting in five different flight plans for a total of uh, almost 1400. Uh, pictures uh, and uh, a time of uh, 42 minutes. Really cool thing is that the whole process is absolutely automated. So this saves uh, a lot of, uh, of time uh, while we are here. And I'm really looking forward to see the result out of this survey now that we have a benchmark with uh, a different drone. So the first thing you want to do when creating a 3D model is to power on your remote controller, the DJI Smart Remote Controller and connect to Wi-Fi. That will make sure that you are always connected to internet so you can load all of your maps and you need to zoom into your specified area where you want to create your 3D model and start adding those points. Those points are the area that you want to cover with your drone and the area that you want 
to make a 3D model of, so you need to be very precise and correct. Keep in mind that the first flight of the drone will always be in a 90 degree orientation, meaning that it will take some top down photos uh, looking straight down. And if you want to create a nice detailed 3D model, you need to make sure to enable a different angle that will also be um, incorporated in the flight mission. Something about 30 or 40 degrees is actually what I found out to be the most uh, usable. This is crucial if you're looking for more information about the area such as elevation or you want to precisely calculate the size of a specific object, you will need that information to be very precise. In case the mission is a big one like it was in my case and the drone uh, depletes more than one battery, the drone will automatically come back to you. It will return to the home point and land automatically. You don't need to do anything but change the battery and when you power it on you can just press play on the remote controller and the drone will get back in the air and resume the mission. It's really really cool and super super easy. Everything is automated and you pretty much don't need to do anything but plan the mission. So in my case, the mission was pretty big as the area was massive and we had 113 waypoints, 1,398 photos for an estimated flight time of about 42 minutes and 17 seconds and a distance to be covered of 24,769 meters. So almost 25 kilometers of distance that needs to be covered for the drone to take 1400 photos to create a very detailed 3D model. Of course, while the drone is doing its thing and it's snapping photos, you have the chance to not only view the live view of the camera, but you can also go and see the progress of the mission or you can take a look at the current flight path of the drone and see how much time it remains for the mission to be completed. So basically you have all the information necessary to observe the mission and make sure everything is going according to the plan while you wait for the mission to end. So here we have all the photos that the drone took during the mission. I have transferred them from the SD card of the drone to a folder on my computer. And now the next thing we need to do is move all of these photos into DJI Terra or any other software that supports 3D modeling and then wait for processing. For such a big 3D model, Usually the waiting time is between 10 and 20 hours. It's really up to the software to uh, process all of these images. Uh, but usually it will take between half a day and a full day of processing before you can actually access your 3D model. So here we have the finished 3D model of the potential racetrack next to my city. As you can see, guys, we have so much information, so much detail. It's crazy to look at. You have all sorts of things that you can do. And I want to quickly demonstrate some of the things that you can do with a 3D model like this, because yes, it's cool to look at and you have a lot of freedom to really dig deep and explore and measure some things maybe if you want to measure some stockpile or something like that you can do that but there are some other things that you can do uh, that are really cool and I want to quickly demonstrate that because those are things that I also recently learned about so it's cool to share that information with you for example let's quickly enable the elevation uh, and you will immediately see the difference um, between all of those rocks how high they are and if we enable contours again we will see how the height changes as we go higher and basically we can see the height of those rocks at all times which is really cool this is 125 meters and as you can see the ground level here is at 90 meters so those calculations could be extremely extremely helpful to know what you're dealing with especially when you are looking for very specific dimensions to create a racetrack because you need to know uh, all those things very very precisely so for example i was told that the grandstands could be potentially here or we can have those the pits uh, somewhere around here so it's good to know at what elevation they are and if we want to precisely measure something let's just quickly go zoom out and if we want to precisely measure the distance between something we can do it from here let's just say we can zoom in let's just say from here we want to measure the distance to here and if I click on it once again it will tell me that this is 128 meters and 37 uh, centimeters, which is crazy that we have such a quick um, calculation based on those photos that we took from the Mavic 3e. And of course, a whole lot more that we can do to be precise and measure things. 
and that is just a small part of everything that you can do uh, with this 3D model. If we take a closer look at this, we can see where the drone has been while taking a certain photo and at what angle it has been pointed at while taking that photo. So for example, we can see that here, for example here, the drone was right here looking at about 40, 45 degrees angle. I think it was 45. Uh, and if we click on it, we can see the exact photo that the drone took. So that's just one of the things that you can do to explore and be extremely specific and precise when we talk about making these models. So the possibilities are really endless and I'm excited to have been part of this. And there you guys have it. This is the Mavic 3E in action. I really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing how a drone like this can be incorporated for a real world scenario like this one, creating a potential racetrack next to my hometown, Varna in Bulgaria. I'm really excited to bring you this type of content on the channel. Every now and then I like to spice things up and show you something new, not only for you guys, but also for me. It was a great experience to be a part of. So I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thank you so much. Once again, this is Mike from Drone Supremacy. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.